Hello and welcome to Around the House with Jay and Tom and today I've got some frozen chicken legs here and I'm going to put them on the table in about 30 minutes fully cooked and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is get them out of this plastic bag here. Now when you're cooking chicken like this, you can probably get uh, at least eight down in there without any problem at all. You can cook eight like, like I'm fixing to cook them. So if you need more, go ahead, but there's no one here today but me. And so I don't want to make so much pig out of myself, so four is all I'm going to put in there. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is take this... Uh, Swanson's chicken broth with 33% less sodium. I always get that when I can, but sometimes you can't. And I've got just barely a little over a cup here, and I'm going to put it down in this Ninja Foodie. Okay, and there that goes in. Now the next thing we've got to do, of course, is take this crisper basket here and put it right down in there with those chicken legs in it. Those are nice-sized chicken legs, too. Those are good. I don't know if I eat four of them or not. Might have to save two for K. <laughs> Alright, and then the next thing we've got to do. Now I've got my pressure lid and I'm going to put it on. And of course, every, just about everybody knows by now, unless you're new, is put a line up your arrows, turn it clockwise till it locks. And it won't go any further than make sure your valve over here is turned to seal. Okay, and not vent. Make sure it's turned in the seal in position. And then. Turn on the power. All right, now right, turn your knob over here or hit your button. Whichever one you've got, you want it over here on the pressure setting on high. Okay, and then you go over to uh, your timer button here. And we don't want 10 minutes, we want to go to uh, 12 minutes. Just like that. Okay, now, next thing you got to do is hit the start button here. And there it goes. Now, you know it's going to take a few minutes or to, uh, to build up enough pre pressure for it to seal. And when it does, then it'll start counting down those 12 minutes. And it shouldn't take about 10 or 11 minutes to do that. So in the meantime, we'll be back. And by the way, thank you very much to all you people that watches our videos. We sure do appreciate it a whole lot. And by the way, if I forgot to tell you, when you open one of these boxes of uh, broth here, if you don't use it all, you need to put it in the refrigerator after you open it. I mean, it's got a long shelf life as long as it stays sealed up. But when you open it, you need to take care of it. So just a little reminder. Okay, and there you have it. The little button just popped up, which means it's pressurized now. But that don't mean it's going to start counting down the, uh, the minutes yet. We'll have to wait for that for another minute or two. And that took exactly 11 minutes for that thing to pop up back there in the back. And that's going to take probably three or four minutes for this to pop up. I mean for this to start counting down. So we'll be back when it does. Okay, and there you have it. Now it's starting to count. That only took two minutes for that to do that. So now it's counting down for me 12 minutes. So, in 12 minutes, we'll do something else to this chicken leg over here and see if we can't make it really good. It's usually pretty good when it just does this, but we'll make it even better. Now we're down to under 35 seconds here on this thing, so we're fixed to uh, vent it in a minute, and then we're going to do something else with it. While y'all got this another 25 seconds here, if you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. Check out our links down below. We always got something good down there from Amazon. Well, most of the time. <laughs> and so now we're down to about five seconds. And we're fixing to hit that quick release button back here in the back. Alright, and you just go up here and Hey, y'all, one thing, that sure does smell good coming out of that vent. 
Make sure I'll grab that lid and yank it off. Start eating on something. Okay, now it's bound to be getting ready to drop because there's not even any noise coming out of it, and there it went. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around just a little bit so I can get a better hold on this top so y'all can see down in there better too at the same time. And if I had never mentioned it before on this Fruity Deluxe, never touch this white or this chrome or this brushed metal thing on top of this thing because it gets hot. You're going to burn yourself if you touch it. Alright, so that took exactly three minutes for that to, to uh, vent. Now, always remember to lift the lid away from your face, carry it over to the sink, and set it down so you don't have water dripping all over the floor. And I'll let you see that chicken. Boy, that looks good right there, don't it? That looks good enough to eat already. Alright, now we can't leave it like that. We gotta do something with it. So, Next thing we're going to do is take it out and see if we can't crisp it up some. Okay, now I'm going to get these out of the Ninja Food here and dump them right here on this paper towel. Just like that. Like that. So I can dry them off. I'm going to set this in the sink also because I'm going to Clean it up just a little bit before I get started back. Okay, now Ben's I'm going to start trying to air crisp these things a little bit. I've got to get rid of this liquid down in this pot. So if you can find a place to save it or you've got a place to save it, save it. And don't dump it down the drain. Well, you, so that's that's good broth right there. I mean that makes some good good gravy and stuff. So Anyway, that's what we got to do with that. We got to empty it. Okay, now I've got everything cleaned up and everything back in in the uh, pot here. Now, the next thing I want to do is take some uh, this olive oil. I'm gonna spray it on here real good. Now today I'm gonna try this. Uh, you can. I, I usually just put regular Lowry's on it. Uh, I like Lowry's chicken seasoning. But today I've got this right here, this uh, sweet and smoky seasoning. I'm going to give it a try on these. It's been pretty good on other stuff, so I'm going to see what it's going to be like on these drumsticks here. Now I'm just going to put some in there like that and mix it around a little bit until it comes back up. And give it another little squirt with some olive oil. On there. I'll tell you what, that smells good. That seasoning and that chicken already. Here, see that one right there doesn't have anything on the poor old thing. We'll fix them up. Now he's got a coat on. All right. Now I think they've all got some, some uh, sweet and smoky on them here. So, next thing we're going to do is go back over here to the Ninja Foodie. And we're just going to dump them right down in here. Just like that. Don't matter how they land, they all going to be fine. Okay, now we've got everything back in there. I emptied that pot of all the liquid. And don't be confused, just because you empty that pot, it's still hot. So, be, be wary of it. Okay, and I put the crisper basket back in there. I put my legs back in there. I'll shut the lid. I'm going to turn on the power. And we'll go over here this time hit air crisp. And I'm going to run, run it down. I'm going to leave it at 390. And I'm going to run it down to... you got to hit your little time button here and it'll start flashing. And we'll run it down to 10 minutes. Wrong way. I get told that all the time. You're going the wrong way, Jackson. You're going the wrong way. So then you hit the start button. And there it goes. So... We'll be back in a minute to see what we got here. Uh, about five minutes, I'm probably going to shake them up just a little bit. So I'll be back to show you how we do that. Okay, now it's coming up on about five minutes here shortly. I'm going to lift that lid <clears throat> and just move these things around some. Uh, 
Oh, those things. I gotta move the camera so y'all can see these. Look at that. And we're not even through yet. Give me another minute or two. <laughs> Now what I do to stir these up some is I just pick them up and shake them around like this and set them back down in there and shut that lid and let them go for the other five minutes here. That is going to be some good tender crispy chicken right here now I'm going to tell you. Okay now it's getting down to the nitty gritty time here now it's getting down to just about lunch time. I'll tell you what, the way those chicken legs look in that cooker just a minute ago, I don't know if Kay's going to have one when she gets home or not. She might. <laughs> okay, and it's down to zero and done. So, so now it automatically goes back to this in case you just want to keep on cooking or something like that. So, I'll move, <coughs> I'm going to move the camera up over there now so you can see thinking about these got me all choked up a minute ago so now I want to see if I can't get them out of here and get them on a plate for us. <laughs> now tell me have y'all ever seen any chicken legs that look this good and that's crispy before? I know. Mm -mm -mm. That is good chicken. Okay now here we have our chicken legs and here we have some delicious white rice. We'll put it in here. Just like that. And by the way, when y'all fix your chicken legs, whatever you do, don't forget to put in the salt and pepper like I did. So now I got salt and pepper. <clears throat> To me, it's so much better when you put salt and pepper on it while, as they're cooking. But hey, can't have everything. <laughs> so then, of course, we gotta have some. This is turkey gravy. Now this is canned gravy. Now I'll tell y'all right now. Like I said, after I ate this, I don't know if Kay's gonna have any of this when she gets home or not. I'll see if I can do my best. Let me try one of his legs right here. That was a delicious leg. Done all the way through and through. Crispy on the outside. Mm-mm-mm. Well, if y'all excuse me, I'm going in here and watch a little TV and eat my chicken and rice and gravy. Mm. Mm. So thanks again for watching my video. I sure do appreciate it when you watch our videos. And I hope you come back and see me real soon. I hope you watch more of them. And until then... Y'all have a real good and safe day, and you go going to have to try this one time, because this is just right right here now. So until next time, goodbye now.